If you're sitting there and you're watching this stream and you're in Canada, you would be a crazy even, fool. I would say you're 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 not smart to miss the tournament. You're even not more. You're worse off if you miss the after party. I'm gonna quote Mr. T. I beat the fool. <laughs> don't go to Canada. Cup. All so, right, here we go. First round of the set. And it's thrown him into the corner here. A lot of players have been uh, using the neutral jump yeah. in the corner, but I feel like that's risky. You know, because obviously you can't defend yourself when, you, when you're jumping. Wow, Elias contesting that uh, EX Thunderclap. Like Count Black gradually forcing him back. And Elias noting that he was getting forced back, sticks out the EX legs. But he's on stun right now. One hit is going to take it this round. Oh, but he catches the neutral jump in fifth. The health is precisely 50 50. And that is, uh, that, that's safe. <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't even know. Oh, he landed in front. Okay. That was some crazy mix up. He's like, where are you? Where's Waldo? <laughs> All right, punish that. Very risky with the slide. We saw him representing the, the slide uh, in the Orange Man matchup, and he caught it there. Put count by punishing him for that one. All right, feeling each other out here. Neither wants to go too hand because they both know that their characters are glass cannons. All right, Count Blight's gonna have super in a second. Right, burning that meter to keep the pressure on. Wow, very nice response from Elias there. Sees the hole, plugs it up. Unfortunately, not able to get a full punish really off it. And now on the offensive. And he's got corner pressure, health precisely 50-50, but Laura does have a significant meter advantage. And that's gonna take this round for Count Black. Are we in for another epic matchup that goes back and forth here? Fight. I wasn't expecting the, the dash forward there into the throw. Nice jump by medium punch and uh, air to air. All right, LES keeping the pressure on. Knows the Laura doesn't have a lot of options. Know that Count Black must be feeling the pressure because his character has no way to get Bison off of her. Oh, is, the, is he going to lose this round with both full V-Trigger and full Super? But he's, this round is not open. He's opened him up and he's got meter to make this oh, happen. Up is stun nasty. is building. He only needs one more to make stun happen. Very stun. He, can he take it? He can take it off of this. My days. Six seconds. Six seconds. That was like Santino Morello in the Royal Rumble, which lasted one second for those people who are not WWE fans. That was nasty. Damn. I hope we get a replay of that se that segment later on. Count Black saying, I do not care how obviously you're winning this round. In three seconds, I will lay it. That's why Laura down. is such a fun character to watch. It's oh, she's like, sick. Fully sick. Lord, loaded Laura is the scariest thing you can get in yeah. And I mean, it makes it really nerve-wracking for LES because even when he feels confident in a round now, even when he's got a 90% life lead, he must still be you know, still be thinking, I haven't won this thing. And yeah. I've seen the Count Black can just come back. Like now, right, massive life advantage. But Count Black can come back. Good, good defense from Count Black right now. Not making too many moves. Taking his time. He's going to pick his spot. He doesn't get it. All right, he actually takes the the rounds that he uh, had the massive life lead in there. Very good at knowing when to just dash forward and stick him out, whether it's a throw or that knee. Which is pretty dangerous, because Bison has the opportunity to just dash immediately forward, and then it's the 50-50 mix-up. It's, am I going to stick the knee out, or am I going to throw? And Elias is caught in with that twice now, and he's it's led to massive damage. And in this round, that one opening has given him the round. All right. We are one apiece here. Damn, all these matches back and forth. So many of them going 2-2. Two, two. 
Do you know, I just got a feeling about Elias today, though. The, the, the focus on his face. I, I got a feeling that, that he could take this entire this entire thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've never seen him like... So, I mean, I know he's always a brilliant player, but he doesn't normally look quite as intensely focused as he does it. But he's got to be careful because Stun is building. And if he eats Stun, then I will be round. Backing off, but Count Black keeping the pressure on. Misses the, the uh, command throw and eats the neutral jump. Brilliant work with that, that uh, jump in medium punch throughout this match from LES. Alright, this match, this game, such an important game because you never want to go 2 1, you know? 1 1, anything can happen. 2 1, you're staring into, yep, staring into the face of death. Is what you're doing. <laughs> Elias starting off this match really strong. And now trying to catch up to Count Black here. Nice V reversal. And here comes Count Black. Another V reversal got caught, caught twice this, this round by it. Oh, a little bit too short there on the jumping medium punch. I mean, that, that V reversal, one of Pice's most important tools in this matchup. One of his only ways. To, to get Laura off oh, a bit. Oh, that slide was a bad idea. That slide cost him the rat match. All right, we'll see how this goes. Such a close matchup. Again, both these players know each other, so they've all already got a read on each other. Probably explains why it's so back and forward here. Because they're both able to adjust to each other on, their fl on the fly. You know, they've seen the way that each player generally plays and then how they adapt when things change. They know each other so well. But again, LES was close to stun, but that stun is now rapidly depleting. But one more thing will take this for, for Count Black here. All right, pop in the V-Trigger. Wow, nice. Neutral jump, fierce. Finish out the match. And Count Black now. Oh, cutting, cutting Bison off in the air. Which Count is actually relatively hard to do. Mm -hmm. Count Black, one game away from taking this. I mean, yeah, you're right about trying to beat Bison in the air. We've seen how much um, how much LES has represented Bison's jump in medium punch, yep, which is absolutely. a really good air-to-air -air move. All right, Count Black just being patient, getting out of there. Look at the patience here from Count Black. Brilliantly spaced. Standing roundhouse. A lot of respect we're seeing from, from both these players right now. Again, didn't go for the cross under. Now, one thing that Count Black has been brilliant at in this round is stuffing uh, LES's normal moves. We've seen the standing roundhouse and also the knee. And of course, Bison uh, added and neutral after the next stomp. And now Black looking to move on here. This is set point. Yeah, LES is definitely against the ropes right now. But he's got an, op an opening. Can he make the most of this? Corner pressure coming up. Count Black wisely dashing forward to try and avoid the corner situation. I'm not sure why Count Black is never going for a cross up there. All right, Count Black, full meters. Yep, both is a fest right now. Mm -hmm. He's got both. Ooh. Oh, he can. Oh, he put. He can go for super. Yeah, there's the mix up, and it's he over. He takes it anyway. And we are going to have Count Black versus the Orange Man. Count Black coming from losers, Orange Man coming from winners. For Grand Finals, 